Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we see what some plant characteristics. Right? Yes. So you may be bored with the factors. The factors are not changing. We've started with the demand factor and then diversity factor and load factor, loss factor and class contribution factor. How many factors do we have? So maybe these are the last two or three. Anyways, so what is the generating station? What is the generating station wherever the electricity is being produced? Generating station is what? You would have the production of electricity irrespective of how it is being produced. Fuel, water, wind, heat. We are not interested. Generating station, wherever the electricity is being produced, irrespective of how it is being produced. Right? Yes. So, associated with that, we will have a plant capacity. We will have a plant capacity. Or, we will have the installed capacity it's called so this is the this is about the plant this is denoted by a p c this include what's all the committed units that you have committed to 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 the load right that are serving the loads as well as the reserve units or the standby units for example you are uh, you have a load of 80 megawatt demand so you have to commit a unit to that so and also you have to leave some spare maybe for an emergency purpose for a standby for a reserve for a future extension purpose so let's say if the load demand currently is 80 megawatts i am committing a 100 megawatt unit to it so the installed capacity or the plant capacity is what is 100 megawatts right yes this is the plant capacity or the installed capacity what does this include this includes the committed units committed units plus the standby units right yes sir. now now we move to the to the what to the plant capacity factor we have a plant capacity factor plant capacity factor this is denoted by an fc which is the ratio of the average demand on the station here represented by a pg to the installed capacity pc of the station this is the plant capacity factor the average load pg divided by the installed capacity pc gives you the plant capacity factor or simply known as the plant factor this is a measure of the operating efficiency a measure of the reliability of the supply this can also be expressed in terms of the actual energy generated now pg i could write as eg which is the energy demand in a particular time t and multiplied with the installed capacity pc so now i can say what this pc would be the maximum capacity of the plant right so what can i say this is the ratio the plant capacity factor is the ratio of what is the ratio of the actual energy units generated to the maximum energy units that it could have generated right yes so i will uh, give you what that these are this is equal to the actual units generated divided by the maximum number of units it could have generated maximum units it could have generated and i hope this is clear this is the plant capacity factor we, we, we have you know we load curve we'll see this maximum demand in this and that this is also used to express the average percentage of the full capacity for instance if a plant is operating 60 percent to its full capacity this means that this has a plant capacity factor of 0.6 right yes sir 
the capacity factor for a conventional hydro nuclear or coal fired power plant is may in many cases 85% so the plant capacity factor fc for what for hydro for thermal for nuclear in most cases is greater than 85% about 85% you could say whereas for wind or solar power plants it is typically less than for wind and solar this is typically less than 50% right yes so this is about the plant capacity factor the other factor that we have is the plant use factor plant use factor and this is how much is the plant being used this depends on that time this time t is the actual the overall time whereas in the plant use factor we would uh, we would consider that hours for which the plant is in operation right so the plant use factor is denoted by f u and this is given by e g divided by the installed capacity pc into a small t so the small t is the hours of use of this of this plant small t is the hours of use right so for instance if you are calculating it over a year so in the year the 60 days for instance there the plant is off for maintenance so you will not include those 60 days in this use factor time whereas you for if you are calculating the same for plant capacity factor for a year so in that the 60 days turn of time excluded we don't have anything to do with it the whole year will be counted over here right yes sir so this would of course of course be less than less than that fc fu would be of course less than fc is that fine it is okay should i have an example should i have an example or no okay let's have it let's have one example what does the example say? Peak demand of a generating station is 100 megawatts. So let's say example. Peak demand is 100 megawatts. And the daily load factor is 60%. FLD is 60% which means 0.6. The plant capacity factor and plant use factor plant capacity factor is given 50 percent and the plant use factor is given 75 percent respectively determine the daily energy produced the installed capacity of the plant and the reserve capacity so these three are unknown so what do you know from the load factor definition you know that fld is e divided by pm into t so from here you can calculate pm uh, uh, no 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 sorry from here you can calculate e from here you can calculate e yes yes so e would be the load factor that is 0 0.6 multiplied with the maximum demand which is 100 megawatts so I, we consider it in the kilowatts range 10 to the power 3 and then time so this is on the daily basis so 24 so the energy units consumed would come out to be 144 into 10 to the power 4 kilowatt hours so energy units we are done installed capacity PC uh, what how can we find, find it out PC we can find it out from this formula the installed uh, so the installed capacity PC we can find out uh, from what from this formula that this would be EG upon FC into time so EG is what we we've, we've got the average energy that is 144 into 10 to the power 4 divided by FC is given 0 0.5 multiplied by the time is 24 so the installed capacity comes out to be 
120 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatts or I could say 120 megawatts. In start capacity we generally write in terms of megawatts, the energy units you have to write in kilowatt hours, right? Yes. The committed generation. The committed generation, so how much we need generation, so that we can find out from the use factor. From the use factor we can find out, you know, like, like we will in, we'll, we'll get the time where this is being, uh, how much time for this, uh, what am I saying, for how much time is this plant running, so that would be according to our demand, right, yes, so for that we need the utilization factor. So we can find the committed uh, power or the committed load to find the committed generation, let's say. The committed generation and that would be P, P, this PC is let's say I include it with a PG, the committed generation, PG and that would be what EG upon, so EG is 144 into 10 to the power 4 divided by what FU, this is given is 0 0.75 and the time of operation is 24, so the commitment is of 80 megawatts of 80 megawatts now how did i calculate it so this i calculate from the use factor how much is my plant being used so my plant is being used for the for the commitment right whereas the reserve is what the reserve is turned off at that time i don't need it at that time but the total installed capacity includes both the, the 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 committed as well as the reserve so the reserve capacity the reserve capacity would be what just wait a minute the installed capacity we've already got the installed capacity is this one 120 megawatts so which means that the reserve capacity would be what that would be the installed minus committed installed minus uh, committed why because installed is reserved plus committed so installed is 120 megawatts and you have 80 megawatts so the, re the the reserve capacity is 40 megawatts and this is the answer to this right yes utilization factor we have another term and that is what that is the utilization factor the utilization factor plant utilization factor this is represented by an f u f in the subscript which is the ratio of the maximum demand on the station the maximum demand on the station pm to the rated installed capacity pc right yes pm divided by pc if i multiply and divide by the average power p so i would say if pm divided by pc is multiplied and divided by the average power p so i have what p divided by pc and i could say divided by p divided by pm can I not say, can i not write it in this form p divided by pc divided by p divided by pm so I've got another definition for the utilization factor and that is what? That is P divided by PC is my, is my plant capacity factor FC and P divided by PM is my, is my what? Is my use factor. P divided by PM is my use factor FU. Use factor FU. P divided by PM. You can do the multiplication and division by yourself. P divided by PM. So this is your FU. So this comes out to be the ratio of the capacity factor to the use factor. Right? Similarly, similarly you have what? Uh, if, if you now see for, from this equation. From this equation if you see, so you have this is EG into uh, divided by EG divided by 
PC into capital D for the plant capacity factor and similarly EG divided by PC into small d for this. So which means now this all would cancel out do the calculations this would be the small t upon the capital T where I told you small t is the time of operation and capital T is what? Capital T is the overall time. Yes, yes. FC by FU, PM by PC. Yes. Let's say an example and we wind the video. Example states what? Example states a power station had two generating units with capacities 10 megawatts and 10 to 20 megawatts. So I have a 10 megawatt unit and a 20 megawatt unit. If the energy generated in a year is this much, energy generated is 200 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours. This is annually. And the scheduled maintenance period is 30 days a year where there is no generation. So you have maintenance work for 30 days in a year. So no generation. So in there calculate the plant capacity factor FC, the plant use factor FU and the utilization factor FUF. So these three are unknown. So have a look. So, so this uh, has two units, right? Two generating units. One is this one, one is this one. So the installed capacity PC includes what? PC includes both. So this would be 20 plus 10. Installed capacity is 30 megawatts, right? Yes, sir. Energy units is this much. The time in a year, the total time in a year would be what? 365 multiply 24 would be 8760 hours. Whereas the small t, the time of commitment, time of commitment would be what? It would be 365 minus 30 days. So 335 multiply 24 and this is what? 8040 hours 8040 hours right yes so now we, we can do the calculation the plant capacity factor FC FC would be EG EG is given is 200 into 10 to the power 6 divided by PC the installed capacity is 30 into 10 to the power 3 in kilowatts okay I'm writing and I will include the whole year time 8760 and this comes out to be 0 0.761 which is 76.1 percent similarly the plant use factor would be what this would be 200 into 10 to the power 6 divided by the same 30 into 10 to the power 3 but the hours would be now 8040 and this comes out to be 0 0.829 which is 82.9 percent right and then the utilization factor utilization factor is what it is the ratio of the two fc by fu so 0 0.761 divided by 0 0.829 and this is 91.8 percent this is 91.8 percent and this could also be calculated from what from uh, 8040 divided by 8760 and this is again the same 91.8 percent i believe this is clear and i should not do any more examples 3.4 3.6 3.16